Pardon me, Master Asahi. I've got just a small thing I'd like to discuss with you, if I may. Oh, sure, no problem, if you think I can be of any help. I do. You see, there's one particular master making the most unseemly demands of the local maids. Unseemly demands? Like, asking for their contact details and stuff? No, it's not that. If it were that, we could rebuff his advances with a smile and a polite refusal. It's more that he's... trying to touch them against their wishes. Whoa, seriously? That's totally a foul on all counts. Yes, exactly. Which is why I'd like you to look into the situation more closely in search of a congenial resolution. Ten four on that. I'll definitely help. Let's find this scumbag. Oh, wonderful. I hope it isn't too much of a bother for you, but I would be so happy to have your cooperation on this. Not at all. It's usually me being a bother to you, so it's nice to be able to turn the tables a bit. Thank you so very much, Master Asahi. Think nothing of it. So, any idea where this guy might be? He's been making the rounds at a number of local maid cafes, but his whereabouts at this exact moment are unclear. All right. Guess we'll just make the rounds at some cafes ourselves then, shall we? There's a maids' union? Yes. All our fellow maids in Akihabara belong to it. When we meet, we discuss current affairs in the maid industry. Moe is the organization's leader! Yeah! I had no idea the maid world was so organized. So I guess looking for this guy is part of your duties, huh? That's not the only reason, of course. I mostly just want all maids to be able to work in a safe environment. <gasps> Did something happen? We're looking for a master who's been behaving inappropriately. The one we discussed previously, if you'll recall. Oh, that guy, huh? Oh, if I ever get my claws on him... Oh, has he? N no He hasn't been near me, but word gets around fast, and I just saw him a little while ago, too. You did? Do you know where he's gone? I think to the cafe on Main Street. Or was it Junk Street? Oh, maybe the Seide Street? Oh, oh, one of those. Thank you, Mike. It's always a treat to team up with you, Moe. So, uh, that's a pretty wide net. Where do we go from here? Main Street, Junk Street, or the Side Streets. We do have options, it would seem. Let's hit all three and see if we can find anyone suspicious. Sexual predators deserve no less than to be hunted down. Truth be told, the Master is not the only one who should shoulder the blame in this incident. What do you mean? There are maids who permit these inappropriate requests, and even take advantage of them for personal gain. In order to protect the true maid culture of Akihabara, we must strive to better teach the next generation. So you're shouldering the burden of maid culture while also fending off unsavory masters? Isn't that a bit... taxing? It certainly is a challenge. I appreciate your concern, Master Asahi. Anytime. I wish there were more I could do. For now, let's just keep looking, okay? Reaper alert. Good afternoon, Master Nekken. Moitan. Nekken? What's that all about? It's my nickname. The Neck from Nekura plus the Ken from, from Ken. Master Nekken is an extremely gracious customer. He's everyone's favorite master at the cafe. B -b 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 Bliss. It's true, Master Nekken. In fact, could I trouble you for a moment of your time, by any chance? M my, my time? I see, I see. 
So you're pretty sure that was him over on Main Street? Well, I'm not s super sure, but I, I think so. Thank you so kindly, Master Nekin. Oh, 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 m m Moetan g gave me her thanks. Next stop, the Maid Cafe on Main Street. Go on a date. I'm sorry, Master, but I'm afraid that won't be possible. I'm on the job. Huh? Oh, that's no big thing, is it? I'll treat you to some delectable delights, if you know what I'm saying. You must be aware that that sort of thing is forbidden. He's our man, isn't he? I think he must be the one, yes. Let's go, Master Asahi. So then, sweetheart. Just give me a little tease, why don't you? I, I only want to know what color they are. What? What are you saying? Nana! Oh, Moe, it's you. Damn it, quit harshing the vibe. I'm asking what color your lovelies are. And I was just about to tell you, Master. What? It's a little embarrassing to say out loud, though. So perhaps, Master, you might be willing to see for yourself. S seriously I can do that? Of course, Master. Wait, Nana, don't! Moe, Master Asahi, I'd like you to duck for just a moment if you'd be so kind. This could get ugly. Uh, come again? Now then, Master, shall we? What? What's going on? We'll start with a high-grade clockwise roundhouse! Go! Oh. Next up, let's bust out the sudden-death bamboo kick! And for the final touch, how about a little ultimate heel drop? Ooh! Well, Master, how was it? Did you have a chance to see what you were looking for? Looks like he picked the wrong target today, huh? Dear, dear Nana, if you beat all our masters into submission, it could cause us problems down the line, you know. Oh. <laughs> I, uh... Whoopsie-daisy. Oh, my head. Looks like he's coming too. Uh, what the... Why am I here? Oh. Hey, you're Moy, aren't you? Yes, I am. I've come because I have something I'd like to discuss with you. Ooh, maybe you want a little playtime with me? Mm -hmm. Not the fastest learner, it would seem. I'm sorry, Master. But your behavior is absolutely unacceptable. Uh, unacceptable? Tell me, Master. You enjoy coming to our maid cafes, don't you? Huh? We maids operate under the assumption that every master who graces our cafes is a true gentleman. And we would be most grateful if you, sir, would please conduct yourself in a manner befitting such a title. I'm... I'm sorry. Apology accepted. Now, I believe it's time for you to go home. But we will be waiting to see you again, Master. So kind. I, I, I understand. I won't act this way again, I swear. Thank you for giving me a second chance. Wow, Moe. I'm kind of speechless. I can't believe you'd be so kind and warm, even to a guy like him. All Masters, no matter their dispositions, give their own unique brand of love to us maids. And in turn, it is our duty to answer that love with warmth and gratitude. Well, I sure hope that guy gets the message and stays true to his word. The wait. With the repeating day, isn't he just going to go right back to being a scumball come midnight? Even if he does, the outcome will be the same at the end of each cycle. What are you two talking about? <laughs> I see. Every day he hits on Nana, and every day Nana beats him to within an inch of his life. Exactly. It's perfect. We're counting on you, Nana. I'm so confused. Oh, 
I want that phone. That one there. We can get matching ones. Matching phones. Of course. Why didn't I think of that? Right? If you buy me one, maybe I'll even do what you ask. Oof. I believe they call that fleecing. Poor guy's gonna get bled dry before long, I bet. I know that girl. Uh, Moe? Hmm. Well, nothing wrong with a little splurging every now and again, shall we? Oh, Takashi, I just love you. Konami? That is you, isn't it? Whoa! Moe? It's been some time, hasn't it? Uh, Takashi, how about we continue this in private? Over there. Huh? You want to go over there? Uh, okay. Is she an acquaintance of yours? Yes, she is. Ah, I thought that might be what was going on. Yes. You remember what I said before, right? Some maids have been permitting inappropriate requests from masters, and conversely, even taking advantage of them. And she was living proof. Must be disheartening seeing one of your own fall into that trap. She did work under me, but has since quit. She's now something of an independent, working at one cafe after another. At each one, she tries to get close to her master, then have him buy her all manner of expensive things. She flouts the cafe's ethical expectations, then leaves for her next mark. And she's been doing this for some time. Sounds like trouble to me. Of course, maids are only human, and there are certainly those who legitimately fall in love with their masters. In those cases, one can hardly find fault. The heart wants what it wants, as they say. But when a maid toys with a master's heart, that threatens the industry as a whole. It cannot be overlooked. And for that girl in particular to pull such a stunt... You kind of take it personally, don't you? It would be hard not to. Then let's go chase her down. Excuse me? You want to put a stop to this, right? Well, we gotta find her first. Thank you so very much, Master Asahi. What, you two are friends? You sure do know a lot of maids from other cafes. There is some inner cafe strife within the industry, but I've always felt it best to stay on good terms. And that's why you're the leader of the maids' union. Every maid in Akihabara looks up to Moe. She inspires us all. No, no, you flatter me, but it's you hardworking maids who deserve the praise. There is a small matter I'd like to discuss with you, though, if I may. Do you recall the problematic maid we discussed at the last meeting? Oh yeah, the girl who's been making passes at her masters one after the other, right? That's correct. We're... Did she do something? Because if she did, that could be really bad. For you personally? Yeah, she's actually working here right now. What? I don't think the owner is aware of her history. Or he doesn't care. She just started the other day. Do you happen to know where she is right now? It's her day off, so I'm not really sure. I see. Well, thank you. If you do see her, I'd appreciate you getting in touch. You have to stop her. Pardon? You're the leader of the Maids' Union, right? You need to be able to take decisive action, so you have to stop her. Well, I appreciate the sentiment, but... Am I mistaken? Perhaps a bit off base. But you're correct in that, one way or another, she must be stopped.
No matter where she goes, Moe won't be far behind. That should have put the fear of union into her, right? Asahi, would you mind terribly if I chased her down? That's usually my line, but sure, I'm game. All right then, I'll find you again afterward. This seems more extreme than Moe usually gets. I wonder what's going on. for you're taking this whole nice person act way too far you may think i'm being a hypocrite but i swear to you i mean every word stop it stop being so nice to an embarrassment like me konami i've always wanted to be like you you know i've always wanted to be one of the popular maids so you yeah i started to exchange personal contact info with the masters so they'd seek me out by name but it just escalated from there didn't it yeah, I knew it was wrong, but having people buy me expensive things made me feel really popular, you know? I understand. As I suspected, I am to blame for this. What are you talking about? You can't possibly be so egotistical that you're feeling sorry for your own popularity. No, that's not it. I'm sorry because I never taught you the ropes. I never taught you how to be a truly great maid. What are you saying? Don't you remember? I was the one who interviewed you, Konami. You were a bright, honest girl. And I felt certain you would do your best to become a top quality maid. But I was so busy with my union duties that I was unable to take any evening shifts and train you properly. And then you wound up quitting. I didn't even get to say goodbye before you left. It wasn't long before I began hearing rumors about you. And I felt such regret. I wondered what might have happened if I'd been there to give you the training you needed. I told myself it wasn't my fault, that I was just too busy. But I could have and should have made time for you. So, I am sorry. Truly, truly sorry for neglecting you all this time. Don't apologize. I don't want to see you like that, Moe. Then what would you have me do? I'm not the icon of perfection you think I am, Konami. I am as you see me, human. I failed you. And I felt so guilty about it all this time. There were days I even felt like hiding because of it. You did? But every time I pushed onward, I didn't let myself give up. So, how about we push onward together now? I... You probably can't stand to work with me at this point. But if ever you decide you'd like to, I'll be waiting. Uh... I'll be waiting for you, Konami. She's gone. But I hope you do get to see her again. Me too. Hey, Moe. It's okay, you know. Nobody's perfect, and nobody would mind if you let your cracks show a little. It means a lot to hear you say that, Master Asahi. Thank you. Looks like the delusion's back and business is booming, huh? <laughs> <laughs> and I owe it all to you. Though, I guess I probably shouldn't be happy about that, should I? Eh, I think it's okay to let it slide just this once. Whoa, Moe! That man, he isn't your boyfriend, Dizzy. D definitely not! Did you really have to throw in definitely there? Oh, whew, I was worried for a second. Naturally, a perfect maid like Moe couldn't very well have anything but a perfect boyfriend. Ouch. I could be a customer, you know. You thought about that? Perfect maid, huh? Moe? Uh, I'm sorry. It bothers you, doesn't it? W what do you mean? The idea of you being perfect. Oh, well, I suppose I, I can't hide it from you any longer, Master Asahi. You've already seen that side of me once. 
Then what would you have me do? I'm not the icon of perfection you think I am, Konami. I am as you see me, human. I failed you, and I felt so guilty about it all this time. There were days I even felt like hiding because of it. If you need to talk, I'm happy to lend an ear. But beyond that, I don't think there's anything else I can really do. Thank you. I appreciate the concern. Perhaps, since you've offered, we can go somewhere private and discuss matters. The maid delusionscape, maybe? Huh? Uh, okay. Sure, I guess. Moe, why exactly are we here? For some reason, I just feel like I'll be able to talk more freely in this place. About the real, unadorned me. Stripped of any lies or pretenses. What do you mean? As you say, I'm not a perfect maid. Not at all. Well, yeah. Nobody's perfect. No, no. I don't mean I'm flawed like everybody else. I don't think you understand just how imperfect I really am. Uh... What are you getting at? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I never get to say things like that in my maid persona, so I figured I'd give it a shot here. I'm really just an average, run-of-the-mill girl trying to get by in life. Not sure where all my mystique comes from. <laughs> you had me going there for a second. It feels good to let loose a little. Hey, can I tell you something? Sure, shoot. Master Asahi, why do you think I became a maid in the first place? Hmm... Because you wanted to make all the masters in Akiba happy? <laughs> Bzzzt. That's a perfect reason for a perfect person. Me, I just wanted to wear cute clothes and work somewhere quaint. Thought it'd be fun and make me happy. That's it. Wow, seriously? Yep, and your reaction says it all. That's not a proper reason for a perfect maid to go to work. It's not the fitting of the great perfect maid Moe who is decidedly not the same girl you'll find behind the frou-frou. The moe everyone always compliments and looks up to doesn't exist. She's a scam. She's not real. If that's the case, though, then why? Why come this far? Why put on the perfect maid act for so long? Well, it's sure as hell not to live up to expectations. More like because I'm afraid of not living up to expectations. The bar's been set, and I'm terrified of slipping below it. But it's just way too high now. Unrealistically high. This delusion came from the expectations of all the masters and my own inability to live up to those expectations. So you're here because... Because I still don't know my true self. And I want to know who I really am. And if we explore this place a little deeper, there's a chance we might find the answer, isn't there? Maybe, but... Master Asahi, please... Accompany me to the deepest part of this place. I want to know who the maid called Moe really is. All right. I'll escort you to the end. Let's find out together. Enemy spotted! And I don't want to fight, so that's a problem. Uh, an enemy? Yeah. What, what are we going to do? We're here, Moe. End of the line. But why? Why isn't there anything here? Because this is the reality of the situation. This is the truth. So there is no real me? Just the person I pretend to be? No, I don't think that's quite right. Then what? The real you has been right in front of you all along. What? Moe is Moe, and that's you. You're perfect and imperfect rolled into one. The maid Moe is a perfect existence, an ideal, like the delusion she spawned. But that perfect maid was created by you, through your dedication, through your desire not to let anyone down. You were so afraid of not living up to expectations, you never even noticed that you always did live up to them, and that was all you. It's not easy to do what you did, but you did it, all on your own. Asahi... That's why there's no Grand Phantasm here. 
Because perfect maid Moe and regular girl Moe are the same person. You need to be proud of what you've accomplished and make it a part of you. And recognize that you are maid Moe. <laughs> Thank you. I actually do feel better now. Just don't push yourself so hard anymore, okay? Especially around me. You can be regular girl Moe when you're talking to me. There's no need to be perfect. Oh dear, you shouldn't say such things. Huh? You know that makes you sound like you're my boyfriend, right? What? <laughs> Psych! I didn't want to waste any time trying out this regular girl thing with you. It's a nice fit. Uh, seriously? 